What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Air Magics. Air Magics, because we just got a magical wand and I decided to test, okay? So keeping it real, keep it 100% authentic, as always. I was just chilling here eating my Yasmin rice and uh, chicken with this beautiful fireplace happening. So a lot of people were actually suggesting that I get a gimbal for my live streams, etc., and going to events. And they're right, except I really didn't want to because I bought it once and I was like, I do not want to learn this shit. So let me put it away. I bought it and I went back. This is real and this is live. So 2000 plus collection, some good news as well. Uh, thought of some fun ways to declutter. I mean, I'm probably gonna be in Guinness World Records. I swear to God, my collection is ridiculous that it's gonna be like Guinness World of Records. And speaking of, got a bunch of boxes here that just arrived full of fragrances. Oh, like this, Spirit of Dubai, Fajama, and Al Ghabra. And then I've got a couple of, well, let's not talk about those. Actually, let's talk about those. This is where we're gonna start. So I figured the best way to get used to the gimbals to use it, right? And so that's what we're gonna do while I show you guys a few of the boxes that just came in. Laundry, and then the cats, they're just absolutely loving ship it, shipment days. Yeah, shipment days is cat days. They love the boxes, the bags. You know how it is. I don't know what it is about cats. What up, Joel? Um, bags, I mean, look at this. He's gonna live in there. I mean, his app, heaven for him would, oh, okay, never mind. Hey, mama. Yeah, Coke Zero. We don't drink calories. Okay, cool, so I'm getting used to the gimbal. And the first thing we're gonna look at is this box that I just got full of frags from Triple Triple Traders. So I got a couple of fragrances from Triple Traders. We're gonna leave that there. And uh, this would be a good way for me to practice. So we're gonna go into my studio. Let's freaking go. Oh shit, you guys don't wanna see this, bro. Well, you do want to see this actually. Okay, so here we go. So you walk in and we're gonna start off with unboxings and boxes basically. All right, so these are all fragrances that still need to be unboxed, first impressions, or I got them as testers, etc. cetera. Um, these I haven't yet sprayed or tested. Decus was a part of a haul. I still haven't even sprayed it. You see, we have some of those uh, um, what are they called? Uh, Nabil fragrances, right? So some women fragrances as well I got in not long ago. So Donna, Born in Roma. I need to get Born in Roma Intense. Is this the Intense? Let's see. No, it's not. So I fudged up and I got the wrong one. Whatever, we'll buy the other one. So Par Prada Paradox, we've got the Donna original. We've got JPG Continuum. We'll probably do this as a giveaway. Clive Christian, what else have we got? Saud, this is a good one, not bad. Still haven't even like sprayed it first. Anyways, we've got, so first impression videos, that's this. A uh, couple of unboxings as well. So we've got Gentleman Society, Bad Boy Extreme. What else have we got? Armani Codes, this is the Parfum. And then we have also the other one, the Aura Toilette. Viva Le Juicy, obviously, Prada Low. Okay, so these are unboxings. Okay, chromes, I plan on doing like a chrome, a Zaro chrome buying guide. So I bought all of them, basically. And then we've got new fragrances from Dubai as well that need to be unboxed, etc. Let's see here. So these all need to be unboxed from Dubai. Fragrance World products, uh, Latafa products, a lot of products, period. All right, let's see, can I fix this? Yes. These, a couple from Grandeur. This one, you, ladies, you're gonna be seeing it very soon. This is fire right here. Candy Rose, amazing. So these are actually unique to Dubai. They haven't even hit the market here. When I was in Dubai, I got these gifted to me straight to my hotel. But these are sleeper fragrances. These are from AMD. Summer Rain is like a, uh, this is like a fresh version of Imperial Valley. Chandra, hello. Sugar is like a twist on, uh, what is this line I see at the top of the screen? Okay, hopefully that's not consistent. 
Let's see if I can get rid of that. Let me know if you guys are seeing that like a uh, bar of light at the top of the screen. Anyways, um, so yeah, sugar is like Paragon, except fresher or soapier. So we've got a bunch of these. Uh, Joelle, can you see a bar of light at the top of the screen on the live stream? Valencia, hello. And then, like I said, I got Ghost, by the way, or not Ghost, I got Wraith, finally. We're gonna be doing a giveaway with this. And Liquid Brune as well, which is the, um, what is it called? No lot bar of light, thank you. This is Altair, Altair dupe, finally. And I believe I got an extra one, so we'll be doing a giveaway with that. And then I have a bunch that I need to wear. So these are some niche designers you guys see. And the purpose of wearing them, obviously, is for reviews. These are ready for reviews. These two right here, they're the same thing. I'll tell you right now, I like this one more. It's cheaper, and it's just stronger. Stronger, in my opinion. So, oh, Safari Loam. I'll give you guys a little inside. Smells like Pegasus, a more refined version of uh, Parfums de Marley Pegasus. I was surprised, a little bit disappointed as well, because I'm not crazy about Pegasus. But if you like almond-based fragrances, you want a refined version of it, this is it right here. So, Safari Loam. Let's see, can we get it to focus? Joel, I've yet to have you confirm. Can you please confirm whether or not there is like this bar of light at the top? Anyways, so these are coming to a new series. The series is gonna be five fragrances, I wouldn't buy again, plus giveaway, yeah. So about twice a month, what I plan on doing, at least hopefully I can shoot for twice a month, is uh, I can do five fragrances I wouldn't buy again, plus a giveaway of all five fragrances. It's gonna be to one winner, makes it easier. I feel like that'll be a fun way. Let me know what you guys think. Fun way to declutter, fun way to get rid of some fragrances, and it's not necessarily bad fragrances either. Like a lot of these are actually really good. These are good, they just don't last the longest. Uh, Trillium, I'll be giving it away, Al Haramein, etc. A lot of these I have like 20 dupes of the same thing. This is really not a bad fragrance, I just, I will never reach for it. Uh, these are not bad. This is La Via Belle. This is Stronger With You. So some oils, Guerlain dupes. This is Paco Rabanne 1 million. And then there's more. I'm going to be giving away a lot of these in the five fragrances I wouldn't buy again plus giveaway. So yeah, potentially some niche as well. And then as we move on, we have more Middle Eastern fragrances. And these are more so ones that I like to recommend. So these are fragrances that I personally keep in reach so I can recommend them. This is the top, one of the Middle Eastern, next row of Middle Eastern fragrances. And then we have another row of Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm kind of, I like to code like brands or just, you know, certain types. And by the way, for those of you wondering about a hand Pacific, I actually really like this stuff a lot. And look at the dents on these bad boys, on both of them. So not freaking bad, not bad if you look at the size of the collection. But anyways, so then as we go down, there's more, and there are more unboxings. So I bought a couple of Supers fragrances. I haven't even had the time to unbox them yet, but I, I think one of them is the Wolf Memories Gold Legacy 70. There's something cooking here. And more unboxings for Outur uh, Al-Alam, Fragrance World, uh, uh, what else? Latafa, Mesa, a lot of stuff. By the way, Spicy Amber just came out. It's available at benadilfragrance.com. Obviously, code Aromatics will save you 10% off. And uh, smells like, uh, what is it called? Metieri Perfume. I think it's called uh, Spice. Sp I think it's called Amber and Spice or something. It's a really good one. It's an amber fragrance with spices. So then another rack right here. Uh, Signature Red is actually really good, but Signature Blue would be my pick. Sharaf Oud. Etc. Yes, please make sure to like the live, share, do what you got to do. A bunch of Sapple fragrances that are hidden gems for sure. Bound, number one. Uh, number two, I would say, is Dapper. It's kind of like one million. This Wakanda Forever looking bottle is Paco Rabanne's Phantom as well. And then we have Intense Man. I saw this at Marshall's in Miami. Can somebody please just confirm whether or not there is this bar of light right here? Yes or no? That's all I need to know. Somebody in the chat. Uh, only one perfume to drop panties. All of these will drop panties. My boxers have just been dropped. Okay, no bar of light? Excellent. No, thank you so much. Mwah, love you guys. Thank you. Okay, so for ladies, ladies' recommendations. Ladies, I'm going to go through this one slow, all right? Uh, so you can see, these are all fragrances that I love for women, and they're all going to be recommendations. So let me shine some more light. I don't see light. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. All right. So here you go. These are all fragrances for women, cheapies, that I would recommend. Don't kiss you, Rumi. I'm offended. Anyways, 
So White is Two Bros is uh, one that I haven't even spoken on. I just haven't had the time. This is actually really good Two Bros fragrance. Ladies, if you like, uh, it reminds me of Cashmere Musk's Two Bros, I believe. Uh, no, it doesn't, no. Um, what does it remind me of? Like My Way, the quality of this one is excellent. Sublime, fantastic. This is slept on. La Uno, the one and only. This is the uh, Dolce Gabbana, the one and only. Uh, Imperial, 10 out of 10. Every woman should have this in their collection. Gentlemen, buy it for your ladies, period. Amber Oud Gold. This is the best Herba Pura. Instant crush right here. And yada. And then we have Infinity Rose. And by the way, for women who really enjoy fragrances like Ani, Satwa is the softest in terms of the DNA not necessarily in the performance. It's one of the best performing ones and the most unisex version is Sotwa, an excellent fragrance. Affection, some unisex fragrances in here as well, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part with that one. And then we have more Latafas. Oh man, let me not even start with the Khamras. Who makes White as Tuberose? That's a Fragrance World product right there. And uh, Barrack Cat is also a Fragrance World product. I'm liking this gimbal. Ooh, okay. Um, so, Khamra, Khamra Tahua, this is addicting AF. Honor and glory is so addicting, man. This is the best YSLY EDP. Signature Blue is a glove box. These are both, all three of these are glove box fragrances. Beaters. You can literally beat it in the face and keep it moving. Um, just don't give it your number. And uh, this is uh, Mason Alhambra's Your Touch. It's actually a pretty good interpretation of Stronger With You. Invictus Victory, right there, Victorioso, but it's been officially beat by this. Invicto Legend, I love Invicto Legend. And then we've got some cheapies that are not Middle Eastern, so we're gonna be seeing a lot more of these. So Legend, Chrome Extreme, a bunch of fragrances here, a lot, like Dunhills. Um, oh, I really like this gimbal, this is fire stuff. All right, um, what else? Oh, G. Parlises, let me put you guys on some sleeper fragrances. I don't think I'll ever have time to really talk about this anytime in the near future. So let me tell you guys about these, okay? Because if you can find it, they never stock their fragrances. These are literally sleepers and you'll never find this. Jungle of the King by G. Parlis is an excellent inspired by of, uh, let me recenter, there we go. An excellent inspired by, I think of Kirke. Let's just confirm this really quick. Oh. So we're talking about G. Parlis, Jungle of the King. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Kirke or Herba Pura? Kirke. This is a great Kirke right here. So ladies and gentlemen, you heard it pre-hype. So get it while you can. Jungle of the King. If you like Kirke, this is an excellent version. This brand makes a lot of good fragrances. They're super hard to get a hold of. I've been trying to get a hold of them so they can make more fragrances available, but it is what it is. There's another one I want to talk to you guys about really quick from G. Parley since I have the opportunity here. Yes, I am the king. Nuit d'Orient is also uh, the one and only, or Dolce Gabbana Luminous Night. This is it. I am the king. Nuit d'Orient. And there is one more. And this one is like a Killian's Intoxicated Twist. Alexa, turn on office lights. And it's a part of the, um, what the hell is it called? Let me turn on more lights. It smells like Killian's Intoxicated, but with a twist, okay? And it's this right here. It's called Armorial Intox Noir by G. Parlis. It's a Killian's Intoxicated twist. In the opening, it's a bit different. As it starts to dry down, it gets distinctively close. Not as uh, high quality, a bit more iris, uh, less on the coffee in the beginning. But that's what this is, Armorial Intox Noir by G. Parlis. These are certain fragrances that I really wanna talk about, but don't genuinely don't have the time. So I'll probably try and do this like once a month or something, in a, like a uh, frickin' what's it called? Update, a collection update. So this is also another good one, was not in the Clone War, but it smells really good. Bulgari Tiger, it's called Bavaria, the gemstone leopard. That's this one, okay? So we looked at about, I mean, this must have been at least 300 fragrances. We've got some of these up here. As you can see, I have them coated like uh, Aventus's, my OCD. Sometimes I'll sit here and I'll just spray them all and just sniff them. And then we've got Blue Day Chanel's. These are all Blue Day Chanel's right here. So as you can see, iconic. There's this one. This one is uh, not really talked about much. It's at Haramein Musk Collection. This is a Blue Day Chanel inspired by. 
But these have to be my favorite. The blue edition and iconic for sure. Tura Afnan, this, forgettable. This is loud, but smells a little bit cheaper. Okay. And then this is Love Don't Be Shy. These are Timu fragrances. Yay, look at this. This guy's been hitting the gym, bro. Hitting the gym. I need been wearing uh, 10 compliments in two weeks, wearing Rayhan Ocean Rush, no cap. I believe it, bro. I believe it. And then, yo, just when you thought, don't get Blue Day Chanel, get this instead. Number one billionaire. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, uh, black tie, good fragrance. Then we've got Alluring, because we ain't got no time to allure. We've been alluring. Viking Colo, listen, this is a sleeper brand that's coming straight out of China. No, I'm just messing. Don't, 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 please don't. But then there's, I think there's more Vikings. Gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, I kept this because I still want to make a, a video out of this one. It's pretty funny. A long, full-length video. Pretty cute, though, I think. Yeah, I probably wouldn't put it. That was another Viking Colo. So, um, I need a... Uh, this right here is pretty good. City Rhythm Miami. Great fragrance as well. We've got Black Tie. We've got Night. And we've even got Date. Okay, so that's these racks, right? So, we went through these racks. Let's see. Let's take a back shot. There we go. Oh, and those are the Latafa niche. Honestly, a bit overpriced if I'm being honest. Yes, they're nice, but it's up to you. So these are the Latafa niche. Oh, say hi. Um, yeah, so this is Intense Cafe, I believe. Intense Cafe for women. Um, so is Tanasuk. And Tanasuk is stronger and better, honestly. But yeah, man, this is fire. I love this stuff, but it's not going to be for everybody, okay? It has like a super strong saffron, can come off a little bit metallic. All right, so that was the Middle Eastern rack. We've still got more. So brace yourselves, because we've got plenty more. All right, this is more Middle Eastern fragrances, a bunch of Dua fragrances. These are all giveaways, okay? Apex is going to be a giveaway, Supremacy in Heaven. And then we've got a bunch of these fragrances. Um, this is a really good one from Triple Traders. It's called Qahwa. It smells like coffee. It's a spray you can spray on your like clothing. You can spray it on your, your home fragrance, basically. Yasmin brand. Um, bunch of samples here. Discovery sets I've never gotten into. A couple more fragrances that I don't really find myself recommending. I'll leave it here. And it's not necessarily because they're bad fragrances. It's just they're either not available, etc. There are a bunch of new Dasasi fragrances I will be getting into. This is pro this is one of them, not probably. Jenny Glow, unfortunately, this was a great product. It's not available anymore, or it's really hard to find. A bunch of the Tom Fords. Then we've got Mason Alhambra's, all of the Tom Ford ones. And yeah, let me just let you see the rest. Um, a bunch of Afnans. Uh, this one's pretty good. Zimaya is a sub-branch of Afnan. Some, oh, Habibi New York. Tamavichis, more of those. Some more Rasasi, some of the Gate. Yes, I am the lion. I could not figure that one out. That's also another G-Par lease. These are Paris Corner fragrances. A bunch of Paris Corner fragrances. Uh, let's see if I can, let me see if I can lock this. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So that's how it's done. Wait, no. Sorry, guys. Whoa, what just happened? Hang on, gimbal problems, okay? Let's try this again. There we go. So these are Paris Corner fragrances, a bunch of them. Um, what are these? More Paris Corner fragrances. By the way, this is probably the best oud cheapie you can get. One of the most authentic smelling cheap ouds. This is it. It's called Sheikh Al Oud. Sheikh Al Oud. This has been through hell and back. Look at this. It's almost done. But extremely authentic smelling. And then um, this is from Al Wataniya. It's uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight. Okay. And then we got Yes, I Am the King. I mean, in these racks alone, it's probably. I don't know. This rack right here is probably like, I, I, I have no clue how many are there. All right, so that's that. And then we're gonna move over to the other side. This is the camera I use. And we've got more. So here we go. We've got a bunch more Latafas, etc. Cocktail Intense. This is a oud-based fragrance. Nobody's gonna like this. This is like straight up ass oud by Swiss Arabian, that's why I never talked about it. 
Uh, Imperium is right there, a couple more fragrances, the Vi Collection, the Bulgari Inspired Buys, and a bunch of the smaller dupe houses. Alexandra Fragrances has to be probably one of my favorite ones. I think personally it's better than the Dua brand. Um, Zoha Roma has some excellent fragrances as well. And then we've got, uh, let me move some of these. What else have we got back here? A bunch of others. So we got more from Fragrance World as well. Bearcats, there are some of those new Latafas as well. Rudain, uh, more Latafas, and then it starts getting slim. What is this? Yes, I am the star. I think that might be, not really sure. Anyways, a Mandarina Duck. So extra fragrances, either purchase too many, etc., are definitely too many. So these are all going to be giveaways right here. The niche line, this one including as well, the Sold Bond, this is the F.A. Paris, the new ones. I haven't talked about it because it's not available yet. I had it since uh, Dubai, these. So this one will be a giveaway as well, okay? And then these, these are boxes full, literally full of fragrances for giveaway. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Some Tour de Horse. Uh, this is full. Each one of these is probably like at least 200 fragrances in this one. I mean, the box is huge. Um, and then this one is also full. And let's see. We've got more fragrances here. A bunch of Khadlaj. Okay. And then we've got, these are also fragrances I wouldn't buy again, uh, including Shohra. I don't like this. This one is going to be, these are all going to be in the giveaways. So Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Got a bunch of stuff. This is a good way for me to declutter. These are actually really good. I just don't have, yeah. This one I don't like. Don't buy this from Rehan. Beautiful is nasty. Some grease. This one is not bad, but I don't need baby cat. Ten of them. Um, this is Bulgari Tiger. It's called Tatwil. Or Moth Radical. Another one from Rehan I would never buy again or recommend. This one, Imperial Legacy. Do not buy that shit. What else? See, like, this is good. These are good, but yeah, there's a bunch of them. And then I have some unboxings. These are videos that are unboxed. Like, I already unboxed them on a short, but they're gonna be coming into a full-length video. These are more just designers I need to put away since I moved, I haven't moved. And then this is a part of the first episode that I've already recorded, but I haven't posted yet, of the five fragrances I would not buy again plus giveaway. So it's more than five fragrances, obviously, but I counted this as one fragrance. These, the Privé Couture, okay? These are not bad. They actually smell super close to the original, but it uh, they just don't last the longest. You have to put, hey, God bless you for the super chat, brother, I appreciate it. That's the best clone of Arabian Oud Woody. There isn't gonna be a clone of that, but I'll show you this uh, Sheikh Al Oud in a second. So these are all gonna be a part of that first giveaway. This is the first episode you're gonna see. Uh, Udvini, Misoni, yes, even this one. Um, I also just did a cleanup. I'm selling 15. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell, I'm just gonna give them away. These are lists that are coming soon. These are brand new, brand new to my collection. Just bought them, they're ready for first impressions. I love this, I love this. I've been seeing a lot of this on Instagram mostly. And uh, yeah, I fell in love. These are Arabian Oud fragrances. I would, I'm gonna make a video on for people not to buy. Do not buy these. Do not ever buy these. This one smells musty and dusty. Literally smells like dust. And this one won't give you more than two to three hours max. So these are two Arabian Oud fragrances I would never recommend ever. Okay. And then this one I've been rocking a little bit more. It's uh, Rosa Elysium on steroids. It's more of a twist. The opening is not nearly as fresh, but look at the dent on it already. Oh my God, I've been drinking this shit. But yeah, it's a more stronger version of Roja's Elysium, okay? So let me show the brother that uh, was asking about the oud. So there is no actual oud or woody oud, but this is a little bit more animalic than that. It's called Sheikh Al Oud, okay? Screenshot this. Three, two, one. And it's like 22 bucks. All right, so also Laverne. We have a new Laverne fragrance right here. This is called Phantom. I'm gonna do an unboxing of it very soon. Very soon. And I think I have a couple of Venetios in this box right here. This one has a couple of Venetios. I think I picked up Blessed Baraka. Yes, please leave a like, share it, do whatever you gotta do. But just don't have a collection like this, that's all. That's just the one thing that you don't do. Oh, also, By the Fireplace. I already have By the Fireplace, but I saw this gold edition. Yeah, I think it'll be, be good content. It's all gold. 
that's pretty much it. Okay. And then we're going to move over to the niche collection. Mesa La Lombra, yeah, there's better ones. There are better ones for sure. Obviously, you guys know a lot of the niche collection that I have. These are all the Qissa perfumes. You guys see them behind me for the most part. These are, um, what are these? Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. This I need to cover, the Noir, the Qurashi Blend Noir. Let's see what else have we got. We've got the Night. I, I definitely need to get more into these for sure. Um, my Tom Ford collection, Boise Moroccan, is a very balsamic fragrance. We've got obviously uh, all of this. Uh, you can you can get lost if you want to, Thurston, because nobody pays me to promote these. I paid for all of these. If you can't get them, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell. If you can't afford it, don't don't hate me, because I have them. But anyways, so uh, Ma Mandarino di Amalfi, we've got all of those. We've got these. Let's see. Yeah, sure. This company, they, they definitely send them to me, right? Jealous. <laughs> mind game fragrances. We've got a couple of mind games fragrances as well as queening. So yeah, queening. We have queening. Uh, thank you, Joel. Try and catch that a little bit sooner next time. <laughs> but anyways, so Al Farid, Arabian Oud. Uh, Inicio, my, what is this called? Uh, late Parfums de Marley, Parfums de Marley collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think I have a couple more maybe down in this box. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. So then these are the Rojas. I don't have many Rojas. Uh, they're okay fragrances. So these are the ones that really stood out. I really wanted to get my nose on this one, but it wasn't what I expected it to be. I don't really care for Sweetie Aoud too much, but 1819 is really good. Um, this is good balsamic frankincense based fragrance if you like that. And then my Sphinx. Of course your boy's gonna have Sphinx fragrances. Yes. Uh, the new one, Mango, Hibistorm, and then the Chocolate. These are a couple of extra fragrances that I had since the beginning. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So the bottom rack here is a couple of fragrances that I don't really talk about too much. To me fragrances. Uh, this one right here. I give chance. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? A bunch of one millions, Paco, I can't even stick the, sh the stick back there because there's not enough room. Uh, by the way, two new fragrances, the Skandals, okay? The EDT, oh, this one, it's a must have in every guy's collection, straight up. Like I put this in the same realm as something like this, Stronger With You. Look at that dent, this is fire. The original is better than the Le Parfum for sure. There's just more of an interesting factor to this one. Absolutely more. Um, a couple more fragrances back there. There's that Le Labo, Santal 33. Uh, some of the old school Thierry Mugler's, Pure Tonka, Pure Malt. Um, I've got them in the back there. We've got some clear bottles, some of the Dior's. And on the bottom here, we've got more. Is there Beast Mode Sweet Youthful? You could recommend. Yeah, man, the Stronger With You line. Try the original, it's fire. It's fire, and so is the Skandal original. Amazing stuff. Then we've got a bunch of more designers. I have pretty much the entire lineup of the Givenchy. The um, Al Rai is amazing. I agree, bro. I agree. Let's see. Just got Al Rai, and I love it. But if you had to pick, I wonder. Oh, I can't. But if you had to pick, which would you choose, Al Rai or Hippocartistique? Ooh, that's hard. That's a hard one. Um, Al Rai. Yeah, man. So, yeah, this is the newest, the latest uh, Armani code. <clears throat> it's not really the latest, actually. It's the only one out of this line that they discontinued. They discontinued the Perfumo, the Absolute, and now we're left with this one. It's still a pretty good one. It's definitely still a pretty good one. Then we got a couple more Manceras, Oman Luxuries, some Tawak. Is Jabal Khan Costa Prada Lome better, much better, thicker, denser, there's not much similarities to it, to be honest with you, bro. Then we've got my Amouage collection, which is pretty huge, but uh, my favorite one is going to be Royal Tobacco for sure. It's not for everybody. What do I think about Ralph? I love Ralph fragrances. So my Ralph collection is a little bit weak right now, but I just ordered here. So I've got these two for now, and I've always loved the blue, but I never restocked on it. So I just ordered the blue Parfum, the blue Eau de Parfum, the uh, Red Intense or Extreme, etc. So yeah, I think they're fantastic, to be honest with you. 
Anyways, a bunch of Montel fragrances. These are the ones that I really enjoy. Dark Vanilla is included in one of these, but it's gonna be making it to a list, so it's on my table currently. Uh, African Leather is right there. Ralph Club Elixir is pretty good, but I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it too often. Some Zerjoff fragrances as well. Uh, this one smells like Bad Breath. Where is it? Right here. It's a part of the ILM. It's ILM. It's a part of this collection. Don't ever, don't buy this. It smells like ass breath. And um, yeah, I, I wouldn't give that away to a person that I hate. Um, this right here, La Peregrina, this is from AM Perfumes. Uh, definitely get a sample of Royal Tobacco. It's not going to be for everybody, bro. It smells like Bahur, incense and tobacco. Um, so you guys will be you know, happy to hear, for those of you that really wanted to know more so about this, is I'm going to be making a group video, or I already made, talking about sapphire leather, talking about citrine amber, and some of the all of the tobaccos in my collection, along with this blue oud. It's all going to be in one video. And raspberry and blueberry musk, for sure. By the way, gentlemen that like ombre leather, this is a better version of it, basically. Sapphire leather by Ibrahim al Qurashi. It smells like better, better than uh, ombre leather, but the same DNA. Blue Laverne, and then we have this Fattis by, what is this brand even called? I forgot. Uh, what is this? Dada Tlib? Whoa, what just happened? Hey, what the hell? Uh-oh, the gimbal died. No! Okay, I, I should have charged it. Yeah, gimbal died. Okay, no big deal. Nib, have you tried Khadlaj uh, Loire Noir? I have tried it. I'm not just, I'm not like crazy about it. It's good, but I'm not crazy about it. Um, Neeb got the name of his new frag, Ass Breath. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, That's going to be it, bro. <laughs> uh, then we've got some Royal. This is overrated right here. This is definitely overrated. Uh, it smells good, but I would not recommend it for the price tag. So <clears throat> aside from the cute bottle and shit like that, that's it. Um, Raven Oud, white leather. We've got some Dada Tlibs. These I have not opened yet. It's crazy. A uh, bunch of Killian fragrances along with these. This is going to be a full rack. It's just I have some of them on the table. So there's one right there. Um, and there's a few of them as well somewhere else. I think there's two more that I have somewhere. Laying around somewhere. Okay, now I'm starting to get bothered because I want to find the other one. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. But anyways... Also, I just saw Ani X. If you guys are wondering, this is the better one for sure. It's got like a Hachivat and Ani type of DNA. Yeah. Mm, so good. But still close enough to the uh, actual Ani. Let's see. What else? What else have we got? Oh, this is relatively new. This is Dates Delight by House of Oud. I was trying to confirm whether or not uh, the Art of Arabia 3 was a dupe of this. It's absolutely not. I do with this. It smells like baby powder, man. It doesn't even smell good. But these are women's fragrances. Uh, this is pretty unisex. These are pretty unisex. And this is all women's fragrances here as well. Uh, they That collection will grow. Some Valentinos, Arabian Ouds. And then we've got a couple more. Uh, Guerlain's. I have, I think I have all of them except Abi Rouge. And I forget what else. Uh, my dog is whining now and my arm is getting tired of holding the phone now that I don't have the freaking gimbal. Let's see, Luar, Luar Noir. It smells high quality. Let me see. Honestly, it smells high quality. It smells like, like clean musk, but also like, it's like musk, patchouli, something like that. It's different. What up, these frags? Rosewood Review. Honestly, it smells like rose and wood, but very high quality rose for sure. Uh, the one clone recommendation, MF Craig Grand Soir clone. It's going to be Bearcat Amber Eve, the best clone of it, period. So I'm going to feed my dogs while we chat for a little bit. Uh, yes, I am the king, Luminous Knight. So yeah, that's, you know, for the most part, a lot of the fragrances that I have. And, uh, they're constantly coming. Uh, Raul, this is what I love to do. I buy... 90% of my fragrances and um, yeah, I love, I love wearing them. I love reviewing them. Welcome back to Michigan. Thanks, man. Best cheap, best coffee, cheap fragrance. Um, Cafe de Dua from the Dua brand is amazing. I'm still in Michigan, bro. Missoni EDP or Versace Porom? Versace Porom, for sure. For sure. Favorite out of my entire collection. There's way too many for me to favorite, man. But I love Dior Homme Parfum. I love Black Phantom. Um, I love 
a lot of them, honestly. It's the best Ultramall cone, off now 9 p.m. Off now 9 p.m. does smell different. That There's a better one, it's gonna be coming out. It's called Ultra Blue or something, soon. Soon. Yasmin, no problem. It was, it was a pleasure. Got to test my little gimbal, it was cool. It works. I like recoil, me too. I don't like uh, those cappuccino fragrances. It's called Cafe de Dua from the Dua brand. It smells literally like you just brewed coffee, bro. I don't like Imagination by Louis Vuitton. I just don't. Do you like the new Valentino Green Stravaganza? It's on the way, actually. I just bought it from France, I believe. Go eat your food, Fry Fry. Glissa Capri clones. <laughs> no, there is not one. The cat is eating dog food. Hey, psst, get out of here. Yes. She's tearing into her food. Fry, go eat.